Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your quick guide on how to reverse as well as how to sort a list. We may have talked about this earlier when we were talking about various methods, but just for completeness sake, I wanted a dedicated video for this so people here on the YouTubes can find it. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. What are we gonna do? First, we should probably have a couple different elements inside of our list. That way we can actually tell if it's working, you know? And we're not going to be writing the algorithms ourselves. We're just going to be using methods that are already made available to us inside of C Sharp. If you want the methods, you can look up binary search or whatever searching algorithm or whatever reversing algorithm you guys want. And you can code that out yourself. You might have to do that for like a computer science class or something. But you know, this is, this is more practical. Honestly, you don't actually have to, uh, tell it what steps to take to do the sorting or the reversing, you just say sort or reverse. So you just say stuff in this case. Um, so that is the name of the list. And we say dot, and first we'll just reverse this. So when you type out the parentheses, you can see IntelliSense here, it says void. And what that means, it doesn't return a new list. It's actually going to modify this variable here. So at this point, we're done. It's reversed. We don't have to assign it to a new list. In the previous video, I talked about taking a list and converting that to an array. And in this situation, you can see it returns an integer array. So you have to assign it to something or you have to pass it to a method. You have to use it. You can't just say stuff .to array. But when, when we have a void method, that's a little bit different because it's not gonna return anything. It's going to be doing the processing inside of the method on the actual variable we're calling it on. So just a little background information on, on that. So at this point, we can we can output the the, uh, the list to see what, what it looks like. So we'll just say for each um, int s in stuff. And then we'll just say, hmm, console right line, and we'll just pass in S. I forgot to get the terminal ready, so here we are. We're just changing into this directory, and then we can run this with .NET run. And you can see the reverse works. It starts with 50, then it goes to 3, 60, and then 5. So it's going from this end now down to the side. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to sort this. Now if we sort it here, which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with sorting it here. It's just that the the reverse here is not going to take effect. So we can just comment that out for a second. When we run this, you can see it's now sorted from least to greatest. If you want to sort it the other way, all you have to do is take the reverse and do it after the sort. So running this, you can see it goes 60, 50, six, sorry, I can't see, five, three. <laughs> so that is how you sort and also reverse an array. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the next video because we're going to get into some object oriented programming stuff and that's the, really the section of the series that I've been excited about. So hope to see you guys there and be sure to subscribe.